Hello and welcome back to my channel, Create with Lulu. In today's video, I will be showing you how I set up February in my bullet journal. If you like these types of videos, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. All right, if you're going to journal along with me, then grab your supplies. If not, then maybe grab a cup of tea and a blanket and cozy up and we will get started. So I'm just grabbing my journal, some stamps, and then a bunch of markers. And before I start any bullet journal, I always like to pick a color palette because I feel like a color palette could really make or break your spread or theme. So I just grab a bunch of my markers and then I swatch them all on a piece of spare paper. And then I will go back through and pick out all of my favorite ones and that will be my color palette. So I'm just going to swatch a bunch of different markers here and then we will pick my favorites. So here are the colors that I have to pick from and now I'm just going to pick my favorites and do a final like swatch card of them. So I'm just grabbing one more piece of paper and just swatching all of the colors that I will be using in this spread. And grab your journal if you haven't already, but if not, then grab your snack and we'll get started. So first, I'm just going to clip down my page and we will start on the cover page. And this month, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I'm doing like a mountain scene. So I will be using this green Tombow marker to do the grass. And I like to try and make all of the marker lines go the same direction, because one, it makes it look a little bit more realistic, and two, it just looks a lot neater of a coloring job so I'm just going to color the grass at the bottom here and all the supplies I use in this video will be linked in the description box below so make sure to check that out if you want to check out any of these supplies and I also link the number of the Tombow markers that I use in the description box too now I am grabbing my pink marker and we are going to do the biggest mountain of this scene. So I'm just going to do like an upside down U shape, maybe more of a V and then leave a little bit of white space and then just drag the marker along and kind of follow the grass line. And then I just made a straight line up and then colored it. And I'm trying to color it all going the same direction. I'm trying to do that throughout this whole spread, but it can get a little hard at sometimes because you just want to color the other way. But it really looks so much neater when you color all up and down or going the same way. So I definitely recommend it. Now we are moving on to the next color, which I will be using like this gold Faber-Castell highlighter for this. And I'm doing a little moon. And so I'm just doing like two crescent moon shapes and then just coloring it in. And this one you will see when I flip the page over did bleed through a little bit on the places where I went over it more than once. So it's definitely a more pigmented marker. So maybe be careful if your pages are a little thinner than mine. I'm using an Archer and Olive journal. So they're pretty thick. I think they're 160. GSM, but now we are moving on to the purple mild liner and I'm just going to do another little mountain here just like the same way that we did the pink one just follow the line of the pink and the green and then just color it in all going the same direction Now we are doing the third mountain, which is more of this orangish peach color. And I'm just kind of going along the same lines as the other one and rounding it at the top of the purple mountain to make it kind of look like it's going behind it. And now we are doing the final mountain, which is the same green color that we used for the grass. And this one's more of like a diamond shape just in the middle of the mountains, kind of like it's peeking up. And I'm just going to color it the same way as I did the other ones.
Now I'm going to be using my alphabet stamps that I recently got. I also did a review video on them, so I'll link that in the description box below. And I'm grabbing some ink and I'm just going to write February with these stamps. And I love these stamps so much. They're so clean and it's just a lot easier than writing and I love the font that it came in. So I'm just going to stamp that out real quick and then we will move on to my next page, which is my budget tracker. And so I'm just going to switch my clip over to the next side and then I'm going to take my Tombow markers and highlight the different sections that I will have in my budget tracker. And then the shorter lines here, I will write start and end at the beginning of each one of them. And then at the start of the month, I will write how much money I have that I'm saving for something. So for example, if I'm saving for a car, then at the start of the month, I would put however much money I have saving for that car. And then at the end of the month, I'll put however much money I have at the end of the month so I can kind of see how much I'm growing. And then right here, this will be my income. So however much money I made this month, and I just will put this dollar signs there so that they're already ready for me and I can just put the number on the other side and then what I did to make that money on the other side of the little number sign I'm adding some gray lines just to divide them up with my um, zebra mild liner again all the stuff will be linked in the description box and then I'm just using my stamps to stamp the titles Okay, and that is the first page done. So I'm just going to remove my clip and move it to the next page. This is our calendar spread. So first, I'm just going to start off with a little green mountain scene again. So I have my green grass here, and then we will do the mountains. Now I'm moving on to the purple mountain and you can kind of see my sketch marks I did below just to kind of make sure I knew where I was placing my different mountains and you can also see the little bit of the bleed through of the moon um, from the other side so that's what I was talking about when I said the moon kind of bled through a little bit so that marker is a little bit more pigmented but it's okay you don't really notice it that much once I cover it with the other markers. And now I'm just finishing up the final mountain. And I'm just going to use my same alphabet stamps to write February at the top here in all caps. And now I'm grabbing my ruler and my gray mild liner and I'm going to do my calendar boxes. And then I'm just going to take my alphabet stamps again and just write the first letter of each day at the top of the day's box in my calendar. Now I'm going to take this green noted pen that I got from Target and I'm going to write in all of the numbers for the month.
And then any extra boxes, I'm just going to put a line through them with the same pen. And then over on the side, I'm going to write holidays and birthdays. And so if there's any holidays or birthdays this month, I can just write them right below this. And I'm also going to draw little YouTube signs and I'm going to put start and end. And at the start of the month, I can put how many subscribers I have. And at the end of the month, I can put how many subscribers I have. And I can see how much growth I have made. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Then I just added some gray lines under holidays and birthdays, and now I'm stamping out YouTube at the top here, and I can put any ideas for any videos or days I wanna post here. And so if you guys have any video ideas, please leave them in the comments below. I love making things that you guys love as well. So I'm just finishing it off with some lines just to add something fun, and then that is pretty much it for this page. And then I did add a little bit of washi tape. I got this washi tape from Stationery Pal and I really love just like the simple grids. But anyway, once I added the washi tape, that's it for that page and we can move on to the next one. Okay, this is my habit tracker page. And as you can see, I've already sketched out a little bit just so I know how many I have and everything. And I'm just going to take my Tombow markers and mild liners, and I'm just going to highlight the top of each box. This is where I will write in the habit that I will be doing. I'm grabbing my ink and my handy dandy number stamp so I don't have to write them out. Love this thing. And I'm just going to stick it on a clear block and stamp all of my little habit calendars. Then I'm just going to stamp out habits at the top with my alphabet stamps that I am now in love with. And then I'm just going to add some washi tape for some decoration. And now I'm taking that same pink Tombow brush pen and this is going to be my brain dump area and I'm just making lines across the page just for a little something fun like we did with that YouTube ideas page on the page before. And this is where I can put any random thing that comes to mind. And then I'm just adding brain dump at the top with my stamps. a little bit of washi tape. And I'm really sorry about this, but this next part, my camera totally stopped recording the first part of it, but I just wanted to put a little quote up here. It says, strive for progress, not perfection. And I just used my mild liners and stamps to make this little quote. And that was pretty much it for that page. Now we are moving on to my weeklies. And this is just how I like to do them. They're super simple. I just do some gray lines at the top and I split it into events and tasks. I have my task list on one side and then any events that I have throughout the week on the other side on the days that they go on. So I'm just making my gray lines. And then I'm just taking the different colored markers that I have and just highlighting the day at the top. And I'm just going to repeat that for this page and the next.
also going to use my gold highlighter to highlight the events and to do's and it did not go through this time so I think it's only when I go over it more than once it goes through the page. Then I'm just taking my black Muji gel pen and just writing the days and the dates at the top of each page and that is pretty much it. It's that simple and I also stuck an extra Monday at the bottom here. You'll see just because I didn't want to make a full page for one day. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. I would super appreciate that. And now we'll just do a quick little flip through. But thanks for planning with me. Okay, and here is my quick little flip through. So first we have our February title page and then we have our budget page right next to that. Then we have our calendar page with our YouTube ideas and calendar and places to put birthdays and holidays. And our final page before the weeklies is our habit tracker and our brain dump with our cute little quote. And then we have our really simply weekly layout. So we have the first two weeks on these two pages and then the second two weeks on the next. And that is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you're going to try out this theme in the comments down below and leave any other video ideas there if you have them. Thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it and I'll see you in my next one.